Well, here we go again. The second K review in the last two days. Here we go. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drew, better known as KQ99, and yes, I'm back with another video. And in this video, it is the second KU basketball review of the season as the Jayhawks took on the North Dakota State Bison and escaped in their game by a final score of 65 to 61. So, for those of you who do not know, I give positives and negatives about the game. I give a player of the game and a person who needs to improve. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So let's start out with some positives. And one of the positives that came to my mind is our rebounding game. We did really well. Uh, we out-rebounded uh, North Dakota State 43-32. to uh, We turned the ball less than North Dakota State did, 13-11. to And we didn't foul them as much as they did with us having 16 and them having 19. So those are good positives for us. Negatives in this game, all of them were shooting. Yeah, this was not a good night for us. 38.7% from the field, 26.7% from three, and 68.4% from the free throw line, which was not good. And we only shot 19 free throws, shot 15 threes and made four, and uh, it was a bad night. Also, letting them run down the clock and getting second chance points was a killer. And this game should have been a blowout, and it was not. So, those are my positives and negatives. Player of the game, I am going to give it to Tyon Grant Foster. Yeah, I know I should give it to somebody else, but he had one of the biggest blocks in the game to save KU from losing this game. Uh, eight points and eight rebounds for Grant Foster in 22 minutes of play. Um, I could have gave it to Jason Wilson, who recorded his second career double-double with 14 points and 15 rebounds in 33 minutes of play. Uh, but yeah, I give it to Tyon instead. The player who needs to improve, and it shouldn't come to a surprise, but Bryce Thompson. Uh, he only finished with two points in this game and had 15 total minutes of play. So it was not productive night from the in from the true freshman. So hopefully that gets better as the season goes on. But um, yeah, Tyon is my player of the game and Bryce is my player who needs to improve. And that is gonna do it for my review of Kansas versus North Dakota State. Again, the final score, KU 65. North Dakota State 61. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and push that notification bell, and tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again for the next basketball review, which will come after or on the day of the 8th, as the Jayhawks take on Creighton in the Big 12 Big East Challenge. So, until then, have a good day, and as always, never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. Peace.